and wake up in order to free the girl from the chains of eternity that seal her fate. The power burned within me. The void. The blade I carry. The insulator. Each day became lost in a sea of banality, living under the threat of the night. The hollow night approaches, and where reality and fantasy meet, I, a young boy, take a stand to reclaim everything and return it to nothingness. I'm Hyde Keto, the EXS of Jet Black and wielder of the Insulator. Wanna head to the night with me? It's go time! The Hollow Knight is about to kick off. About damn time. It's been over a month since Lin saved my ass. Training every day has been murder. But I'm starting to see why it's necessary. I mean, there's swarms of EXS wielders in town. That idiot and Wald. Where in the hell are they? I'm guessing they just took off on their own. You told me to stay put because it was dangerous. Not like I planned on staying out of it. Besides, it's time I settled the score with that paradox bitch. Damn it, Lin. You'd better be waiting for me. That goes for you too, Wald, you old fart. Don't do anything stupid before I get there. Immortalize! Hi. Yuzuriha. Hey, Yuzuriha. Sorry, I mean, Miss Yuzuriha? Hmm. Now, who might you be? I do not think we have met before, have we? Anyway, I am but a humble swordswoman. Ning ning. Stop being an ass! And besides, Nin Nin is what ninjas say. Oh, perhaps I should say... Sword Sword, then? What the hell? You're not making sense. <sighs> Forget I said anything. Man, I wasn't expecting to run into a monster like you. This Hollow Knight is really messed up. That sounds about right. Not stands before you except a single lonely monster. A demon of misfortune who wanders the hollow night, killing everything that moves. Alright, then... Just pretend that everything I'm about to say is me thinking out loud. I've never forgotten about what happened then. I'm sorry. And I always have been. I lost sight of myself. And well... What I did was pretty messed up. And afterwards... I ran and hid like a coward. Pretending I knew nothing. Pretty pathetic, huh? <laughs> you can say that again. But that's all in the past now. I know it might be too late, but I found a reason to fight. And not because that person told me to either. I fight. Because I want to. Yeah, I can see it in your eyes that you've cast away all doubt. How wonderful. Until now your eyes were like... Hmm. Yes, like those of a dead fish. Or so a demon who has never met you before might think. Ah, uh, I can feel the passion burning in your eyes. It'll make cutting you into pieces all the more satisfying. Prepare to be baptized this night. You'll do well enough as a foe. Is what a demon who doesn't know you might be wont to say. Fine, I accept. And for the record, I've changed a lot since before. Don't think I'm an easy out. I'm just getting started. I hope you're ready, Miss Nameless Demon. Understood. I shall grant your wish, and then obliterate any hope you might have. Let us begin, Nameless Manchild. Immortalize! Hi. Oh dear. Harada, is that you? What are you doing here? And what in the hell is with that ghetto? k keto I was about to ask you the same thing. And that sword. What's the meaning of this? 
I thought the answer would be obvious. Why are both standing here, armed in a night like this? And Harada. I never guessed you were... an inbirth. Color me surprised. <laughs> Again, I was going to say the same about you. Anyway, is that the infamous sword insulator? As one connected to the Princess of the Nightblade, you're very much a wild card here. Alright, you got me. But she's really not all that bad, you know? She fights alone because she's forced to. Which is why I want to help her. I am aware that the Nightblade and its leader aren't evil. The one we must worry about is Paradox. The two cannot be allowed to meet. You understand why we cannot overlook this, yes? More or less. But seeing as we've met each other this night, we can't just pretend this whole thing didn't happen. Now, I need you, and all of Leech Christ, to get the hell out of my way! This battle was inevitable. If only because of this place. As an executioner of Leech Christ, I accept your challenge. For your sins, in birth, I will return you to nothingness! Immortalize! Hi. Lin. You just had to come trailing after me, Hyde. Even after I told you to stay put. Lin, you're okay. Man, I was worried about you. How could you ditch me like that? I ran into old man Wald, but he attacked me on sight. You must have some kind of beef with me. Don't say that, Hyde. Wald likes you, despite how he treats you. He let you win tonight, right? Anyway, he's probably back up, and whacking those dumb enough to wander into the abyss. Lin, you're okay. Man, I was worried about you. How could you ditch me like that? And where's old man Wald? Don't tell me someone actually took him out. Where in the hell did that come from? You idiot. That monster wouldn't fall as easily as that. He took off on his own, saying something about a worthy foe. I doubt anyone could beat him. <laughs> yeah, he'd fight until he dropped dead from exhaustion, right? Anyway, don't worry. I'm here now. I may not be as strong as that geezer, but it'll be better than fighting alone. No. Get ready, Hyde. I thought it was clear. If we met, it'd be as enemies. You want to go with me, but that's impossible. The Hollow Knight won't last forever, and only one of us can go on. Lin, you're not serious, are you? You know the only thing waiting for you at the end of all this is paradox, right? Are you really going to face her alone? Why can't we fight together? Whether I win or not is irrelevant. If I'm killed, I'll just be reborn again. But, if that woman gets her hands on your sword, all will be lost. I'm sorry, Hyde, but I must stop you. So in the end, only one of us will get our way. Very well, Lin. I'm sorry, but it'll be me that moves on. It's time I put an end to all of this! <sighs> I didn't expect any other answer from you. Well... You choose your path as you are able, but I want a promise from you. If you lose this battle, you'll never come after me again. Yeah, I have something serious to discuss this time around. I'll keep my promise, but in return, if I win, you have to hold up your end of the bargain. Immortalize! Immortalize. Hi. Hilda. Welcome, Insulator, to the darkest depths of the Hollow Knight, where the altar of light and darkness awaits. Paradox. The time has come to settle things once and for all. It's time to bring an end to this place for good. Aww, boys grow up so fast nowadays. I know. 
why don't you abandon the Princess of the Nightblade and join me instead? We can create a new world in the image of Amnesia and all the inbirths. The Nightblade. Leith Christ. I'm sick of hearing about Hollow Knight this. Order that. The Chosen Ones. The Inbirth. The least they could do is let me handle things my own way. So why don't we change it all? Burn everything until not even ashes remain. Then the Hollow Knight will be ours. Imagine all of that power in your hands. So what do you think? Are you in? I have no interest in getting myself into more trouble. I just want to go back to my normal life. If you plan on getting in my way, I'll crush you and your delusions right here and now. I think I finally get it now. There are a great many that have been corrupted by EXS and have turned to evil. People like you. That's why Lin fought so hard to protect this knight. Now I understand why Lin came before me and why she gave me this sword. Her goal, what she wanted to achieve, I will do it in her stead. That's all I can do for her right now. I see. What a shame. I guess this means that the time for negotiation is over. I wash my hands of you. But I'll be taking the insulator from you, as well as your Nightblade seal. And then I will become a rebirth! A being that transcends the inbirth! Aldehyde of Leek Christ! Kuon, the Weaver of Eternity! I'll crush them and Amnesia will rule the night! Now, it's time for me to take your sword and therefore your powers, and sacrifice them to my vessel, so that I may become one of the Rebirth. Insulator, come to me. What's the matter, Paradox? Looks like you just about burned out. Don't tell me you're out of gas already. No way. How could I be defeated by a little boy? Was that the loop end? The true power of the insulator? Now I want it even more! Give it to me now! You don't know when to quit, do you? You can barely stand. Now that the Hollow Knight is done, all that's left is to sever the core to the Abyss. I did what I came here to do. I'm done fighting. Lin told me, don't let them take it from you. Later, Paradox. It's time to put an end to this. And to you. The Abyss. The source of the Hollow Knight. Once I cut the connection between the two, we'll all finally come to an end. <laughs> Here's hoping I never see you again! Was this all a part of your little plan, Kuan the Eternal? Farewell, Insulator Boy. I'll be sure to return the favor when night falls again. Next time, I'll be hunting you, okay? Glad you made it back, Hyde. Judging by the look on your face, I take it you defeated Paradox. Obviously. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here. The insulator is safe too. I thought about killing her off right then and there, but I was barely able to move myself. I was lucky to get out alive. Anyway, with the Abyss gone, everything's good, right? Hmm. You're not much of an actor. It's obvious a pushover like you could never truly harm anyone. It's not like it matters. The choice to let her live was yours to make. Hmm? Did you just say something under your breath? Why do I get the feeling you were being insulting? Don't worry about it. Real men don't sweat the small stuff. We escaped Paradox this time. But she's a rare vessel. I doubt she'll give up so easily. As long as she seeks the secrets of resurrection and of the Nightblade, we'll have to deal with her. And Kuan the Eternal. Until I've discovered the truth behind his involvement, I cannot run away. Um, actually, I think I'll hold off asking you about what in the hell is going on right now. But you'll have to tell me everything someday, okay? Yes. I owe you that much. I promise. However, you still owe me from when I saved you from the void. Remember, you promised to sever me from eternity. 
It's why I gave you that sword. You, you idiot! Are you still going on about that bullshit? You'll have to tell me everything first! If I end you, then how in the hell am I supposed to ask you... Well, anything! <laughs> Good point. I'll be sure to keep that in mind. Don't worry, I'll tell you everything. One day. Now let's head home, Hyde. You too, Ku. It's almost morning. It'd be a disaster if someone found Wald like this. No kidding. It'd be like coming across a dinosaur or something. Hey, I wanted to thank you for watching this video. Your support means a lot. I hope you'll stick around, because we've got a lot more nights we have to fight through before this is over. You got that? See you around! Cause the sun